This study looks at the mental health disparities among various cultural groups, specifically differences in anxiety, depression, affect, and resilience. Diverse groups of individuals tend to utilize varying levels of medical and mental health care and are sometimes given different assessments of their symptoms compared to their Caucasian counterparts. This may result in different diagnoses despite comparable underlying symptoms. Medical and mental health care professionals may unintentionally interpret the relevance of presenting symptoms, which subsequently creates a potential for bias due to differences in how an individual's race shares a significant relationship in concluding a more or less severe diagnosis. Disparities in treatment may influence the likelihood of members from specific groups seeking out services when experiencing negative changes in anxiety, depression, or other aspects of well-being. Individuals who do not seek services may experience worsening symptoms, find other ways to cope, or develop protective factors over a more prolonged period of time, such as resilience. Participants in our study were recruited from various academic disciplines, were between ages 18 to 29, and mostly consisted of females. 41% of our sample was Caucasian, followed by 31.9% African American, 10.9% identified as Latina Latina, 6.5% identified as multiracial, and the other 9.6% of our sample identified as a different racial group. Along with the demographics questionnaire, participants completed questionnaires related to depression, anxiety, affect, and resilience. Our one-way between subjects ANOVA showed that race has a statistically significant difference in reported anxiety, positive affect, and resilience. We also found significant relationships between several variables in the directions anticipated. It is worth noting that our African-American sample reported statistically significantly lower levels of anxiety and statistically significantly higher levels of resilience than our Caucasian sample. The current study supports previous research findings regarding differences in mental health symptoms reported across varying cultural groups. However, in order to get a more informed look at why these differences exist, it may be necessary to gather more information regarding access to services, previous experience when seeking services, and other social factors such as, is it acceptable to see a therapist that may influence the likelihood of someone seeking services? The DSM-5 has a section related to cultural differences in diagnosis for consideration and a screening tool to help in reviewing symptoms. However, more informed approaches in the diagnostic and treatment process for medical and mental health care professionals to use are necessary in order to minimize the disparities we see among various groups. One limitation of the current study was the high number of Caucasian and African American participants compared to our other racial groups. A more diverse sample would help in understanding these disparities across more cultural groups, as well as self-reported experiences of anxiety, depression, resilience, and affect. Similarly, a more equal sample of males and females would be more representative. Future studies may also look at other cultural factors, such as is it acceptable to seek services, have friends or family members had good experiences seeking services, as well as current coping strategies that may influence the likelihood of seeking services. Individuals who have developed a high level of resilience who have more coping strategies, or who have friends or family members who have had negative experiences seeking services, may be less inclined to reach out for support when they are needing it.